Hello everybody, I'm back. Thought I'd pop on here and uh, give a little tip on something that I've come across in the last couple weeks. Uh, actually a couple times. I didn't think it was an issue really at all. I thought it was a fluke, but it's happened twice now. So I thought, well, maybe it warrants a little bit of discussion. Um, if any of you guys know anything about it or have any comments to add to it, I'd appreciate it. Um, if not, maybe this will help some of the newer people out or whatever. So, what I'm going to go over today is um, Schrader valves or service valves on uh, train rooftop units. Now, we've got quite a few of the newer uh, train precedent rooftop units and I had an issue where one of the other techs had come in and said that it had a leaky Schrader valve and the Schrader valve was all jacked up and somebody had screwed the core in way too deep and it's it was just a mess. So I went up and I looked at it and it was weird. I, I had not seen one like this and never really paid that much attention to it in the past. I've not gotten down to the nitty-gritty on it but what we had was a valve core that is not actually the typical Schrader valve the pin inside it which this one here is actually missing because the tech had damaged it and it got lost but the stem that's inside this thing is just about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters long. And what they had done, if you can see in there, I'll dissect it here in a few minutes, but for right now, if you can see, the, uh, the actual valve is down really deep inside that. And they had come to the conclusion that uh, somebody had just screwed it in way too far and messed it up and they tried to pull it out with needle nose pliers it turns with a core removal tool um, that will turn and they thought they had it unscrewed but it just wasn't popping out so then they tried to pull it out with needle nose and they pulled it apart and so we're just going to dig into this little valve a little bit and maybe come up with a little a little bit more information and if anybody else, like I said, has anything to add to this, that would be wonderful. So let's uh, let's go dissect this thing. Okay, so here we have the two valves that uh, I had to remove. Um, we had two different technicians have problems with it. So once the second technician had a problem with it, then I felt like it warranted a little further investigation so I ended up this one had been messed up and some parts lost out of it so I had to remove it and I just brazed a stub in uh, with a standard Schrader core um, it looks to me like uh, this is some sort of a quick disconnect probably for uh, the assembly line in the factory because it's long like I said, the stem, the valve stem in it's like inch and a half, inch and three quarters long. This one's missing currently. Um, but they had pulled the valve stem out with pliers, needle nose. And so that one's kind of messed up. But it looks, because there's a, a dent in here, it looks like a quick connect. Kind of like on your car or on uh, an air hose fitting or something, a quick coupler. So I'm I'm assuming that is for the assembly line for charging the unit in the factory. Um, the Schrader core does not come out and it does turn. You can get a core removal tool down in there and it will turn and turn and turn and they thought since they had turned it more than enough times that it had to be unscrewed and just stuck. So they tried to pull it out with pliers and they just pulled the stem and lost the spring and the, the little C-clip inside there. Whoops. So there's inside. That's just a valve seat. 
I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I think you can see it. You can see where the uh, the depressor stem used to be mounted in there. And that thing will just turn and turn. There's no threads. So there's that piece. Then inside here is the valve. And there's the inside of the body. So we have the valve body. Then we have our little, well, the valve, I guess. And a seal ring. And then the valve seat. And then the depressor is supposed to be mounted in there. And it slides into this. I don't know how well this will show up, but it slides down into, oh, I'm upside down, right in there. That's got a hole in it. And that pushes the valve open when you put your hose on and seals back up. I did not see a any kind of a spring, so either the other spring had gotten lost when they had mangled this one up or um, it, it just closes on pressure so not sure about that I asked them at the parts house about it and they didn't have any information um, when I first on this very first one I asked them if they had long if they made such a thing as a long uh, Schrader core to put in there and they had never heard of anything like it so that prompted me to go back and just cut it out and replace it and I stubbed a standard Schrader core into that line um, a standard Schrader valve into the line and it works fine for what we need but and then here on the second one I went back and I was able to catch this one before they got into it with pliers so this one here still has the stem in there you can see and let's try to make sure I've not had this open yet so hopefully nothing's gonna jump out at us now I hear something in there okay so there we have the body nothing else in there then we have Well, it's full of crud. Okay, so it's attached. So that valve stem is actually attached to the piston, and this is one piece. So I'm not sure how you get it apart. Doesn't look like you can. You can see all the crud that was in it, that's for sure. The original call was they had uh, went up on the unit and said that the Schrader core was leaking. So that's what started the whole thing uh, for now I told them just to make sure they seal up the caps and unless they're just spraying out like crazy but just a little seepage it's not worth the effort to worry about at the moment so well that's that's what we have I've never seen one of these before so 
If anybody out there has and has any other information to add to this, I'd sure appreciate it. Um, but it's definitely attached because when I pull on the piston, the depressor goes too. Now I thought I thought the uh, depressor just went through that little bracket across there and was attached to that. I didn't realize it was actually attached to the piston, so they have really they have really had to pull on that one to get it out of the piston. They've done some damage there. Got a little crazy. So anyway, that's what I have. I would say this is probably a replaceable part. You could probably buy this piece from train. Oops, sorry about that. I would say this is probably a replaceable part and you can probably buy it straight from train and just leave the body brazed in and just replace this. Um, so if anybody happens to have a part number on that, throw it up here for me. I appreciate it. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to do some digging when I get time. This is kind of low on my priority list at the moment, but after two different techs had issues with it, I thought, well, we'll just dig into it and see what we can find. So, well, there it is. Um, not much to it. Got a little... Got a little valve and a spring and a stem. That's about it. Um, that one there looks pretty clean. But all the pieces aren't there. It's uh, missing some stuff. This one here, I don't know how. That's in there strong. And it's got a strong spring too. So... That's good to know. Once they rip the depressor out of this one, you could no longer do anything with it. So it had to go. So, whoop. There it is. Service valves on a train rooftop unit that are not standard Schrader core. So. Hope this helps somebody out, and if anybody has anything to add to it, please post it up here. Uh, maybe several of us can learn some things. Well, there we have it. We've gone through this valve. Um, hopefully somebody will learn something from it, if nothing else. Maybe just a little extra awareness that there are different types of valves out there besides the standard Schrader valve. So. Um, you know, spend a little time, check things out. If it's not acting normal or feeling normal or looking normal, then, you know, it warrants a little more investigation before you start just digging in there and pulling parts out with needle nose and things like that. So, uh, take your time and, uh, you know, check out the situation before you dig in. We want to do quality work, so that's what I have for you for today. Check back again soon. Hopefully I'll have um, some others up here soon. I've got a few things that I want to get up here, but time is just a major factor right now. But uh, I'll get back on here soon. Thanks for watching.